Welcome back to the channel. What you have in front of you is a Lee Boy 7000 asphalt paver. Now in the world of asphalt, this particular paver is a dinosaur, dinosaur compared to the leading industry standard, which I would consider Weiler pavers. Now I want to talk about some improvements that I would make just to this machine, and in general some of the improvements I would make to an asphalt paver. First off, asphalt pavers today are designed mainly for roadway construction, not residential paving. We are a residential paving contractor here in Northeast Ohio, and some of the issues that I have found um, with these pavers are they, they are designed to go forward and backward. They are not very maneuverable, and in some of the obstacles that we deal with in residential paving, they are not suited for that type of work. So, to solve that issue, my first idea and invention would be to make this paver be able to articulate. Now this is the hopper where the asphalt is stored and then it's processed through this machine and laid down by the screed, which is here. This is the power unit. It has a hot diesel engine that powers a hydraulic motor which functions the hydraulics of the machine. And this is the screed, which is heated up using propane, and this is what sets down on the mat and lays your asphalt. With that being said, an articulating dump truck was designed to be able to be maneuvered through um, different types of terrain and obstacles. If you've ever driven an articulated dump truck, for their size, they are very, very well maneuvered. So my idea is to have the power unit articulate from the hopper itself. That way you could um, move around obstacles freely and um, it would definitely help um, with uh, some of the obstacles that we deal with. Uh, trees, turnarounds, barns, sheds, um, to, just to name a few. To understand what a screed actually is, think of an iron, a hot iron that you use to get the wrinkles out of your clothes. That's basically all this is, but it's powered by propane. It has different types of propane burners that heat the screed up that keeps the asphalt nice and smooth. Now the technology has advanced and now they use electric screeds that produce more of a constant heat. And I think that's beneficial. As you can see, the, the screed itself is metal, and over time that metal gets thin and, and burns out. So we put these aluminum pieces of diamond plate on the uh, operator stations because our employees were complaining about burning their feet. Now if you could do that, somehow have that all heat resistant, and have two sources of heat, a propane and an electric. That way, if you're on a job and one source fails, you have an easily converted paver to another heat source. The second thing I would change is how these tracks are designed. If you look at these tracks, they are exposed. And that is a problem. You can see all the old asphalt buildup. Now we maintain this thing as best as we can. Like I said, it is a dinosaur and it's laid thousands and thousands of tons of asphalt. Now you see here, Asphalt can build up around the gears of the tracks and all these other locations causing uh, track issues. Now if they had a type of guard that enclosed or in, enclosed these tracks and if it was removable that would be beneficial too so you could maintenance, uh, maintenance them. While we're under here another improvement would be the safety bar. I built this safety bar out of rebar and flat bar stock and I reinforced it on the other side. It's a piece of C-channel with rebar welded on the inside of the C-channel and I put a rebar gusset here because when you're underneath this thing the last thing you want is someone to uh, close it on you and we actually had that happen and the safety bar failed so I uh, created one that's uh, a heck of a lot stronger. The third or fourth thing I would change is how this is set up. Behind this panel here is your oil filter, your fuel filter, 
all of your fuel lines, hydraulic lines, mainly the main components of your power unit. And you see how compacted everything is in here. It's very difficult to work on this thing on the job if something goes wrong. And it's also very difficult to change the oil on this machine. Now, like I said, the technology has advanced. But if this panel was removable or some way it could slide up between these two pieces of flat bar, then you could access the critical components a lot easier. Another thing I would change is the complexity of setting this thing up on the job. And what I mean by that is there's different tow points that you have to zero out. You have to zero out the screed and set your depth gauges and a bunch of other complex things before you can even start the job. And basically, the process of asphalt is very simple. It's, uh, it really is. It's taking a material and putting it on a solid, compacted base to create a driveway or road or parking lot. Now, that's a very complex uh, system or machine to set up for such a simple um, process, in my opinion. And one thing about the tracks, like I said, if, it, if this, thing, this thing doesn't articulate, so you have to move it like a tank. And base is your most important surface when it comes to paving. If your base is not solid, then your, your mat will likely fail. So turning this thing like a tank on a compacted base screws up your, your compaction rate. And um, that affects your overall uh, product. And here's a shot of the complexity of the hydraulic system. Now you're going to have different levers, for sure, and I am aware of that. But if you see, if you have a hydraulic hose blow on a job, look at that tangled mess that you have to deal with and try to repair it on the job. Because things happen on the job. Most entrepreneurs or residential pavers are um, small outfits that try to do the work themselves. This can definitely be simplified. Now I've been designing my own paver behind the scenes and I have some ideas. Those are just a few. So, I definitely believe the asphalt industry is outdated. I definitely believe it could use some updating. And with my experience, I hope to change that. Either getting, touch, getting in touch with engineers that develop asphalt equipment or companies that uh, are open to product improvement and re-engineering. So, feel free to message me if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Please click subscribe, comment, I'd love to hear from you, and share with your friends. Thanks.